Hey, what is up everybody? So today I am at a retirement home and they have an aquarium here that I wanna show you guys and give you a little bit of a tour of. So this is a relatively new customer and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the tank looked like before when we first got here. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now. What is up everybody? So I'm here at a new job and this is actually my first time seeing this tank just, just like you guys. And i um, kinda just doing a run through right now and checking out, seeing what how, you know how we're gonna make improvements to this tank going forward. Uh, but so far, I'm not really impressed with the way this uh, aquarium looks. So for one, there's hardly any fish in this aquarium. You see, there's a mono there, there's a Valentini puffer, there's a royal grandma, there's a couple of fish here and there. I think a coral beauty, but there's like hardly any life in this tank. Now there's no algae or anything like that, but there's just no life. It's it's really boring. Now, if you look closely, you notice that there's no surface agitation up here at the top. There's no water moving. Um, the power heads are on, but there's nothing on right here. And that's because, let's go ahead and take a look at the filtration. The power is off. The pump is off. Uh, don't know why it would be off, but it is and i'm sure that's affected the salinity in the tank but you can just tell this is a bit of a mess down here look how long this uh, ro water has been sitting here this is the ro fresh water top off you can see the film on top of the water that's just that's just showing that it just hasn't been pumping this isn't topped off so i'm sure the salinity is high this bag has been in here forever of carbon and mixed media but the sump itself is really tiny compared to the size of the tank. So that's an issue. Look at the, the hose clamps are all rusted out. Those are barely on there. The hose is just starting to break. I mean, and they go all the way up either end and those can get a little hole in them and that could be a disaster. And the electric's really bad too. You can see it's all uh, worn away and corroded and rusted. Wire management's not very good at all. So, yeah, we have to look at this uh, electric and redo that too. <sighs> the other side of the tank, not much life. You can see some remnants of, uh, you can see there are some remnants of coral that uh, was in this tank. It did not make it. There's a feather duster, and then there's some type of, uh, probably some type of. LPS coral that was in there that didn't make it. Gorgonians that uh, are dead. There looks like some type of rock flower anemone that's completely bleached. More dead feather dusters. Another coral on top of there that's dead. But just look at the rock work as a, as like as a whole. Look at how, I mean, this is a peninsula style tank. You're supposed to, you can see the room over here. You're supposed to be able to view this tank from both areas. You know, you're sitting at a table with this area over here. There's a little bar area. You're supposed to be able to view this tank from both ends. And this rock work is just kind of just thrown in there and cluttered. And there's no space. It's not open. And it's, it's hard to, it makes it hard to see through both sides of the tank. And uh, that's something I want to definitely fix. I want to take this rock out. We can leave some of pieces, you know, they can act as anchor pieces or whatever, but I want to get some nice arches in here, get some height to this, but where you can still see through uh, to the other side and you can enjoy, uh, you know, the fish, or there's less places for the fish to kind of hide and they're more visible. But the water's got a, a very yellow tint to it too. And it's kind of messed up that the previous service company were telling the uh, clients, the customers, to only feed the fish every once every three days. It's amazing that these fish have lasted a long, as long as they have, because once every three days for these uh, types of fish is, is borderline cruel. It's not, it's not fair. And then look up top here, on top of the tank, you can just see kind of the wire management up here. Just really sloppy, really just janky, and just really ugly and dangerous, really. And then if we open up the top here. Just look at these lights. These are these like China black boxes. You know, I don't know if they're Viper Spectres or whatever that they are. Um, the light themselves when they're brand new aren't terrible, but look at that. Look at the corrosion on there. Look at this just lack of maintenance. They probably were sold used lights, but paid or paid, you know, paid full price for them. 
and this is you know what they, they gave them and most of the leds underneath there are burnt out just really disappointing really bad job ah, really frustrating as far as the stand goes i mean it's beautiful it's white it's got the seashell i like the stand it's really cool it fits this area really well uh, but this is a this is a, a really nice room this is gonna be an entertainment room um there's gonna be a lot of activities here and this should be something that's you know really elegant looking really nice looking so we have our work cut out for us uh, I, I do feel good about it i love taking tanks like this uh that are struggling and being able to you know uh, make them look really you know have them go up to the potential that they need to be there's a lot of people here that will get a lot of enjoyment out of this aquarium once it's done and it's a bit of a therapeutic thing for people so i'm really happy that we were able to do this here and give the residents at this uh give the residents here something that they can be proud of and something that they can really learn about and enjoy and appreciate we have a coral banded shrimp here too these guys always look like they're flexing look at these lights i mean i feel like if i squeeze too hard they're just gonna pop holy moly were all these uh led lights uh were they all working no right no that's terrible. So here we are now, the latest update. We've made some slight improvements to the aquarium. It's gonna take time. Uh, there was a lot of water chemistry issues, but um, we've made some improvements, I feel, to the scape. Let me know what you guys think. We built it up a little bit. Now we are on a strict budget here, uh, but we kind of built onto the existing rock work and just add a little bit more height, a couple more caves, a couple more arches. I definitely feel it's a lot more interesting to look at and i think once we add coral to it it's going to be even you add even more to it and we've added some coral already you can see there's a mushroom we have some uh, eagle eye zoas here that are looking great i really can't wait till we add some branching corals because the scape lends itself to corals kind of coming out and in different directions um, that's going to also add on to the scape once we get those branching type corals in here so a lot more work to do. Now we addressed some issues in the filtration. Not all of them, we're still working on it, but we're, it's under construction and we've definitely gotten, uh, made some improvements and got the flow better. So the most important thing is the health of the tank right now. All right, so here's where we're at now. There's a lot of progress that still needs to be made, but I would like your guys' suggestions. What do you think would look cool in that aquarium? What corals would you guys like to see in there? What other type of fish would you like to see in there? Please leave it down below in the comments. I'd greatly appreciate it. Let's see what we can come up with. Let's really make this aquarium awesome. Now, there's people in the retirement community that uh, go to this room to enjoy this aquarium. It's a, it's, it's a relaxing setting. You know, let's really make them something special that they can enjoy. And when family comes over, they can enjoy with their family as well. Thank you guys so much for coming along today with me on the ride. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one.